Opening slide graphic text title, Red Dust Healing, with Barry Fernando. Image of Barry Fernando, text, Purpose Matters Conference, logos, belonging matters, and talks that matter.net. I hope you're all having a good day. My name is Barry Fernando, um, Uroy Gamilaroy man. Um, just want to give you a quick overview of the program, what it's about. Um, the aim of the program is is to give Aboriginal men an understanding about identity, um, um, evaluation skills, uh, to develop future role models and fathers, uh, to restore family relationships. The program examines the intergenerational effect of colonialism on the mental health, physical and spiritual well-being of Indigenous families and give men an understanding of the hurt which may come from rejection, grief and loss and aims to equip men with the tools to confront problems that are relevant to their own lives and address any ongoing patterns of behaviour, negative patterns of behaviour. Um, we'll, we'll go to the first tool, uh, the tree. Um, enjoy. In red dust, the main tool we use is the tree, the concept of that tree. It give, gives us understanding on how our life works and how we can uh, make better choices to help fix things in our lives. So every tree starts with a seed, gets, it, gets its nutrients and, and grows. And so that when we look at the tree in red dust, or well, the concept of that tree, that root system is family, mum, dad, nan, pop uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, friends. From from the tap root, the main root, we have friends, partners, we might have pets on there. The makeup of the people down here, the trunk of that tree becomes the mate, us, the individual, the makeup of those people. And then the branches are the choices we make. So with the branches, you get on a fork, come to a forky branch, you make a good choice, stay on you. On your tree you make a bad choice further out the branch you go skinnier the branch becomes when you get out on them flimsy branches sometimes we fall where do we fall to back down to our loved ones that will pick us back up and steer us back on track like the bark on the cooler bar tree hold around it for a little while then the bark let go now from people down here we get some good nutrients from down there we get nutrients like love respect caring sharing values morals security uh, shelter, nurturing, um, wisdom, uh, also um, identity, heaps of good nutrients. But unfortunately, from one or two root systems down there come some bad nutrients. And the bad nutrients are about abuse, neglect, abandonment, domestic violence, but also grief and loss is a major part of rejection. Rejection comes from one or two root systems, or it can come from a lightning strike lightning strike from outside rejection going up that tree we just get given it rejection going up that tree is not your fault no one has ever said abuse me neglect me belt me abandon me or die on me we get given it rejection goes up we make choices and without us knowing we we send the rejection back down when we send it back down we actually come back through ourselves as the trunk of that tree, disrespect and reject ourselves first before we pass it back down to our brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews. Or more importantly, we go from the trunk of the big tree to the root system of the little saplings. And the little saplings, they're like our kids. And what they do, they look up to see how we make our choices. Hate the saying, but monkey see, monkey do. It's how we learn. Rejection goes up, we make choices, send it back down. But also the good nutrients come from so many more different areas down here, so many more different root systems, but also can come from rain, from nature, you know. So the good nutrients go up that tree, we make choices, and we send the good nutrients back down too. But this time when we send it back down, coming back through the trunk of the tree, we're loving and respecting ourselves first before we pass it back down to mum, dad, nan, pop, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters, or most importantly, go from the trunk of the big tree to the root system, the little ones with the good nutrients. When we've been rejected in our lives, 
we spend the rest of our lives looking for acceptance. All the good nutrients are about acceptance. Now, when you see a branch break off a tree and fall to the ground, it'll leave behind a scar where that branch was. And that scar is like when we lose a loved one. And that there, that their scar will never leave that tree for the entirety of that tree's life. New nutrients will grow around it, new little branches, but when that branch hits that ground, if we allow it in time, that branch will come one back with the ground, just like when we bury them. When we bury them, my father is still my father, my mother, my mother, my brother, my brother, my sister, my sister. They're not gone. They're in every memory we have here. They're in our hearts here. And they're running through the root system of our body. Never, ever leave you. And that's the concept of the tree. And what they used to be are who we are today from tree to sapling. Thanks a lot for that. I'm looking at that tree. It's uh, some amazing stuff. Um, and just before I go, I just want to acknowledge that I'm off country. I'm Gamilaroi Uluroi, and I'm on uh, Ewan Walbunja country. Um, and just want to acknowledge and pay respect to the elders past and present. Um, and we'll go on and have a look at the tree, uh, the two birds um, tool now. The next tool in red dust healing is called the bird and the fish. And so if a bird and a fish fall in love, where are they going to live? How are they going to connect? How are they going to get by? So you've got to imagine like a pond or a river, and in the middle of the river is a, an island, and on that island's a tree. And so what that bird can do, the bird's above the water and the fish is below. So what the bird can do, they can fly into the top of that tree, form on that top part of that heart. You see everybody doing this? There's your bird, there's your fish. So it has two meanings. First of all, the grief and loss. Grief and loss is like when that branch breaks off of that tree, falls to that ground, and when we bury them, we can't hold them. But where do we feel them? In our heart. They're always in our heart, in every memory here, in our heart, and then sometimes running through the root system of our body, our veins. So bird and fish is has two meanings. First one, the grief and loss. Those that we lost are always in our heart, memory, and sometimes in our veins. Second part is about relationships that are living. So it can be husband, wife, father, son, mother, daughter. You know, it doesn't matter which one you are. It doesn't matter whether you're the bird or the fish. It's just a scenario. But if you're the bird, that's what you can do. If you're the fish, that's what you can do. If you catch a fish and you throw it on the bank, first thing the fish does, starts flapping around, bouncing around, stressing because it can't swim in the bank. If you put a bird's head underwater, it's going to do the same thing. You know, one young fella told me a duck can go under there. I said, yes, I know his head under there. See how long he wants to stay there. If you want to get his head up sooner or later. But the main thing around this is about understanding that bird and fish control only what you can in your environment. Otherwise, welcome to stress. And where do we put stress? On our heart. So that the bird and fish can be husband, wife, father, son, as I said, mother, daughter. All you can do is do what you can in your control. So sometimes when I start talking about bird and fish and that, I'll hand, hand out a couple of people a feather, just like this one. And I'll give them to them and I'll say, is this feather light? And I'll say, yeah. And then I say, hang on to it, and I'll get them to put their hands straight up. So they're holding it and holding it and holding it. After a little while, the neck's sore, the back of the shoulder's sore. If you hang on to stress, it'll affect your whole body. And then pretty, after a little while, I'll get them to bring this down, put it in front of their eyes, channel into there something that stressed them, one thing that stressed them, and then I'll just get them to go the full length of their forehead, take this and go, bird and fish. Stress be gone and put it straight down. And that's what you have to do in situations involving stress. Do what you can in your control. If you're the bird, do that. If you're the fish, do that. Then put it down. You haven't always got your feather, but you can always touch your forehead. Put it down. 
Do what you can in the trial, put it down. Let it go, let it go. Some birds prey on fish, like a pelican. This is the next stage, it's a different view of looking at it. Pelican can sit in the water, groom that fish, get it away from family and strike. But that's not love, that's a use of power and control over the other half. And that's like your domestic violence, like your bullying at school, like your things that you cannot control that are out of your control, especially in systems. Just do what you can in your control, then put it down. Otherwise, welcome to stress. That's what bird and fish is all about. Right, yeah, thank you. Now, I'm just going to give up uh, a little bit of overview of the tools again. So the, the tree, um, I love the narrative behind it. So the support systems, your root systems, the trunk of the tree represents you as an individual. The branches are your choices in life. Um, for instance, if that tree was in bad soil, not getting any sun, no water, that tree will struggle like us as individuals in life. Um, so if that tree was in good soil, getting um, water, sun, um, that, that tree's going to thrive. Um, and I, I just love it. Same with the choices. We may, sometimes we make bad choices in life, um, but it's about not focusing on that fall um, and that rejection. Sometimes we get re rejection from some er a couple areas in that, on the root system. Some of that rejection going up that tree is not our fault. As a young child, I have asked uh, to be abandoned, um, to see family members pass away on me. Um, as a young child, we never asked for that. Um, it's about some, about choices. Um, uh, we're all going to go through some of that rejection and getting to some of the good nutrients around acceptance. Um, and the bird and fish, and I love the activity with the feather, um, you know, holding that feather up, feather's only light. Then bringing that feather back down after five minutes and the stress on your back, your neck, your shoulder, then looking into that feather and just thinking about one stress and then wiping that feather across the forehead, flick as you get to the end and dropping that feather and that weight, all that stress and weight comes off you. Um, and it's a really good activity. But the, the main um, theory behind that was come from a red-crested black cockatoo. So they lose feathers um, annually, but... The only other time they lose feathers is when there's no food or water, it's dry. So they stress and then lose feathers. So that came in behind the, the black red, red crest of black cockatoo losing feathers. Um, just going back to the tree again with that, with the saplings underneath. So they're always looking up. They're looking up at our choices. So if we're making positive choices in those in the branches, um, you know that's going to travel down that trunk of the tree to the to the root system of of that of the sapling, just like us as individuals making good choices, sending those down to our little ones, to our little, our children, our our little cousins, um, the young ones in the community. So sending them down some, some good nutrients, some of that love, respect, safety, belong, belonging, nurture and love. And um, red dust is about working with the male, um, fixing that relationship stuff, flipping, flipping, flipping everything on its head. We all, we all run from state and federal level. That filters down to communities, households, um, families than individuals. We flip that on its head with red dust. So it's all about working with fathers, um, improving that relationship stuff, and then down to communities and then the nation as a whole. So um, it's, about, it's, it's, it's about fixing that, that the male or that father figure um, and even just getting back to, back to families. It's all, it's all about families and individuals and that love and nurture. We've got to get back to love and nurture. 
Also with the tree, that support system, we've got to understand um, sometimes supporting, especially working in, in industries around disability, we need to support individuals and walk beside, not one, one up in front or one at the back. It's about walking together and supporting individuals, not doing for. So yeah, I love I love the the analogies around the tree. It just um, use an environment. We can get we can get anything from the environment. Um, just looking at the environment, the trees, insects, the animals, um, and listen and learn from the environment. Um, and that's one of the main aspects around red dust is is all the different tools are, are based on the environment, the tree, the bird and fish, the pouch, um, all based on um, the environment and listening and learning from the environment. Um, I just want to thanks, thank you guys for having me today. Um, and uh, it's been a pleasure being part of this today. Hopefully, um, and we'll have a bit of a, bit of a chat in the Q&A afterwards. So uh, anyone got any questions, yeah, just throw them my way. Uh, thank you very much. Closing slide graphic text. With thanks to Barry Fernando, Red Dust Healing, Crowdcoms, Purpose Matters Conference 2022. This video was made possible with the support of an information and capacity building grant through the Department of Social Services, produced by Belonging Matters. Belonging Matters makes every effort to provide accurate and up-to-date material. However, information is subject to change, and our materials for reference only. This video was filmed on the land of the Rwandri Warwarwang peoples of the Eastern Kulin Nation. Logos Belonging Matters Talks That Matter .net. Graphic text. More Purpose Matters conference videos. To watch more videos from the Purpose Matters conference, please head to free videos on the Talks That Matter website, talksthatmatter.net. Logos belonging matters, talks that matter.